It looks like it came from a sci-fi movie. It's nearly invisible to radar, and it costs over $3 billion per ship. This is the USS Zumwalt, the most futuristic, stealthy, and controversial destroyer ever built. But why did the US Navy build it, and why were only three ever made? Let's dive into the story of the Zumwalt-class destroyer, a naval marvel of the 21st century. The Zumwalt story began in the 1990s with the SC-21 program, a vision to develop next-generation surface combatants for 21st century warfare. That led to the DD-21 project, later renamed DDX, and ultimately gave birth to the Zumwalt-class destroyer, a radical departure from traditional naval design. Originally, the U.S. Navy planned to build 32 Zumwalts, but skyrocketing costs and the proven performance of the Arleigh Burke-class destroyer led to massive cuts. Only three ships were built. From 1994 to 2015, the program cost nearly $23 billion, making it one of the most expensive naval projects in history. Construction of the first ship, the USS Zumwalt, began in 2011. It was launched in 2014 and commissioned in 2016. Unlike traditional destroyers, the Zumwalt's primary role is land attack support using high-precision cruise missiles. But it's also capable of anti-air, anti-ship, and anti-submarine warfare. This is where the Zumwalt truly stands apart. Its angular hull and sloped surfaces minimize radar reflections. Although it's 40% larger than an Arleigh Burke-class Zumwalt, it has the radar signature of a small fishing boat. Its acoustic profile is comparable to a Los Angeles-class nuclear submarine. The Zumwalt was originally designed to carry two advanced gun systems, AGSs, 155mm cannons that could fire precision rounds up to 150 kilometers. But the cost of those rounds became unsustainable. As a result, the guns are being replaced, and there's even talk of installing a railgun on the third ship, the USS Lyndon B. Johnson. For missiles, the Zumwalt packs 80 vertical launch cells, capable of firing Tomahawk cruise missiles, evolved Sea Sparrow missiles, ESSM, and potentially long-range anti-ship missiles. The VLS modules are uniquely designed to vent outward in case of internal explosions, increasing crew survivability. The Zumwalt can launch unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, and supports a Sikorsky Seahawk SH-60 helicopter. Its power comes from four Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines, producing over 105,000 horsepower, enough to push the 15,000-ton ship to speeds over 30 knots. Thanks to advanced automation, the Zumwalt needs only 140 sailors to operate, less than half the crew of an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer. Its systems are managed by touchscreen consoles and integrated software, reducing manpower without sacrificing capability. Despite its futuristic design, the Zumwalt has faced strong criticism. At over $3 billion per ship, many argue it's too expensive. Its lack of robust air defense and ballistic missile defense has also raised questions. But one thing is clear. The technologies developed for Zumwalt, stealth shaping, electric propulsion, automation, are shaping the future of naval warfare. The Zumwalt may have started as a failed revolution, but it could end up as the blueprint for tomorrow's Navy. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, subscribe to Military Power TV for more, and let us know in the comments, was the Zumwalt a mistake or a masterpiece ahead of its time?